guys, I was just editing this video that you're about to watch. I realized I hadn't actually made an introduction. So I just shoved a quick bit of makeup on and thought I'd actually tell you what we're doing in today's video. Please don't judge the way I look, okay? I put a bit of makeup on so I'd look less like a foot, but I've been in the house for over three weeks. So this is the best you're getting. <laughs> but yeah, I was just editing this video. I thought I'd better tell you what we're actually doing. My arm is already hurting. I'm so unfit. Oh my god. <laughs> so for this video, I'm doing a two-day wear test of the Maybelline Radiant Liquid Foundation. I got it in the shade 3 True Ivory. I'm gonna be doing swatches and everything like that as well for you guys. You can get this from Superdrug. It's also available on Amazon. It's pretty accessible for everybody, pretty much. It's retailing on Superdrug at the moment for $8.99. I'm pretty sure I got this when it was on offer. So so I think I got it for a cheaper price, but I can't quite remember. This is one of my pre-recorded videos. So I recorded this like in the beginning of February. So I'm sorry, I can't quite remember. This is the description on Superdrug's website. Get ready for that glowy skin you've always wanted with Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. Oh, this was actually previously called Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. Have I got that? I may have that. One second. Oh my God. I think I've got the foundation as well. The what it basically is a reformulation of this, I think. It says here it was previously called Dream Satin Liquid Foundation, which is this one. So Maybelline, can I ask why? Like why did you do why? <laughs> Anyway, on that side note, so it's a reformulation of an old foundation. This is supposed to have added skincare benefits with hyaluronic acid and collagen. It's supposed to moisturize the skin and give a natural look, delivering up to 12 hours of hydration. It's supposed to be lightweight with a medium coverage. But yeah, that's pretty much all the claims on this foundation. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, but yeah, let's go back in time to old Curiel and see what we thought about this foundation. Oh, first we got swatches. Don't forget about swatches. Okay, bye. Okay, so here are the swatches. We've got the Dream Radiant Foundation and then the Dream Satin Foundation in the shade 3 True Ivory. We've then got the Maybelline Superstay in the same shade. Next over is the CYO Life Proof in the shade 101. Next to that is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation in the shade 07. Then we have the NYX Born to Glow Foundation in the shade Pale. <laughs> and then finally we have the Zoeva Authentic Foundation in the shade 10 and a glow. You guys, we actually got some natural light today. <laughs> finally, it is a uh... It has, it has been a while <laughs> since I've been in the sunlight whilst filming. Okay, so I've already primed my face. I used the Glam Glow Glow Starter and then also the e.l.f. Putty Primer. It's a combo I've been loving. Let's get to trying this foundation. The shade may be a little off, but we shall see. <laughs> Let's just see what the consistency is like. Oh, actually that is quite a thick consistency. Thought it would be more liquidy, but okay. Like that is not budging at all on my palette. I have glitter all over my face, so please ignore that. <laughs> Should I zoom you guys in a little bit further so you can really see what's going on with my face? Do you want to see that? <laughs> the sake of the application, I think I should. Just a little bit, you know? I haven't done a foundation review in so long. I'm like so out of practice right now. <laughs> all right, let's try this baby on. I forgot to color match. That's just great. <laughs> Compared to my chest and neck, it does look a little dark, so a little bit here. The undertone is quite orange blended out. It doesn't look too bad. It'll probably match my face shade because my face is darker than the rest of me. As per usual, I'm gonna try it out with a sponge and a brush. And also I have another tool that I may try out, the Blenderful. We'll see. <laughs> but first of all, let's get to this side. I'm gonna use a sponge here. Ooh, this actually looks like decent coverage. It is quite a thick consistency, so I guess that makes sense. I'd say it's about medium coverage, and it is spreading out really well as well. That looks really nice. I feel like it is instant medium coverage. Finish is really pretty. It's set down, so it is like a matte finish, but it has a beautiful sheen to the skin. Okay, Maybelline, I see you, I see you. One thing I will say is I can still see my pores so that it's not a smoothing foundation at all. I just have to remedy that with more of a pore filling primer. I think I do still want to build it up just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with a few more little dots and let's see if this is buildable. It feels really lightweight on the skin, like, and it feels like it dries down almost instantly, 
but you're not rushing to blend it out. My expectations for this foundation is being completely thrown out the window. It's completely different to what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so that's it with kind of two light layers. I feel like my skin looks really evened out and I really like the fact that it's set down to almost a matte finish, but it has a sheen to the skin. I do quite like that. And I still have some left on my palette. I haven't even used up all that product. I did pump out two pumps. I'm gonna go ahead on this side with a brush using the Beauty Bay Contour Queen brush just because I like it for blended out foundation. And let's see what kind of finish and coverage we get with this. Hmm. I don't really like the way that this is blended out on this side. It's not sticking to my upper lip. <laughs> why it's giving me a lot more sheer application which is so strange finish is nice but the application really isn't and i feel like i've got barely any <laughs> coverage over here the finish is also a lot more dewy on this side of my face which i'm not mad at that <laughs> but now I look a bit uneven. But this one, I definitely prefer a sponge application. I think what I am gonna do though is try the Blenderful just over top of the brush side, just to see if I prefer that. It's freshly washed, I cleaned it last night. I'm just gonna actually dip into the rest of the product and I'm just gonna go over top with a kind of pouncy motion. Okay, it's finally sticking to my upper lip on the side. Oh, it's so weird. I did just pump out two more pumps into my palette. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my forehead and this side. Just because I still felt a little bit uneven. I didn't have a lot left on my palette originally, so. With the Blenderful, I just kind of touched up my brush side, did my forehead, and also just added a little bit more coverage where I felt like I needed it. I did pump out two more pumps. I feel like I didn't need that much foundation, but I did blend it down my neck so I don't look so, you know, crazy because as you can see there's definitely a shade difference <laughs> so i'm trying to fake it to make it okay but the actual foundation in itself looks really pretty i really like the finish of it i do feel like i may be getting more orange which isn't ideal <laughs> i'd say i definitely look matte though just with the sheen to the skin my pores aren't smoothed over you can definitely still see them a little bit but they're not exaggerated so i appreciate that as far as the feel i don't really feel like i'm wearing foundation it is quite lightweight considering the texture was kind of like a moussey thick consistency and even though it was it did spread out really quickly and evenly and i didn't have any problems with blending at all as far as the set down it still feels a bit tacky on my skin considering it looks matte it does still feel a bit tacky, so I'm definitely gonna have to powder this one down. Like I do with all my foundations anyway, because I have oily skin throughout the day. I think my skin is going more normal to oily these days, so I'm kind of like in between, I feel. But nevertheless, I do get quite oily. <laughs> you guys have seen firsthand what I could look like at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm not gonna go finish the rest of my makeup off. I'm trying out the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara, which I've seen so many influencers doing ads for, so I'm curious. Is it with the ads? You shall see. <laughs> Link it in the eye if it's available. Or you know, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified when it's uploaded if it's not already available. <laughs> All right, it's now 20 past 10 in the morning. So we'll call that the check-in time. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, I just want to do a quick check-in. I know I look kind of different. I've changed and whatever. Um, but I just want to do a quick check-in on the foundation. It is now just gone half past 11. So I've had this on for just over an hour or so. I don't really like this. <laughs> I feel like powdered down, it almost looks patchy. And also I have a crease occurring underneath my lip already. I never get creasing in such a strange place. The rest of my face looks okay, but I just feel like a part of my forehead didn't really blend that well. And then also this creasing is just strange for me. I think I'm gonna set this down with a little bit of set and spray and see if that helps. But um, yeah, so far it's not my favorite. I like the fact I can't feel it on my face, but these little things are putting me off. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few more hours and we'll see if my opinions change. All right, you guys, it's a few hours later. It is now, it's gone half past six. So this has been on my face for eight hours. So pretty much a full working day. To be fair, I don't feel like I've got a lot of makeup on, but I didn't really like the way my face looked in the beginning. <laughs> so let's see how it's looking right now. So I'm looking quite oily in the T-zone. That's pretty normal for me. I am starting to get oilier around my cheek area. That weird crease has gone that I had in the beginning, but I think that's because of when I was eating <laughs> earlier. I think I wiped off a lot of my makeup from my mouth. I'm not a very clean eater, okay. <laughs> kind of rubbed off around my nose a little bit and on my top lip. I know I had a spot on my cheek earlier, but I feel like it's got a friend 
coming up next to it, which is just great. <laughs> my forehead has seemed to evened out a little bit more and it doesn't look patchy anymore. The bronzer and blush is still kind of there, so it hasn't completely eaten away at the makeup. The redness is coming through on my nose quite a bit though. It is very tacky and movable. Obviously, this is only about eight hours wear, so not the best. I can tell you right now I'm not gonna like this foundation any longer than it's already been on my face. I do feel like I kind of want to wash my face right now just because of the oil. I don't know. It's just, just a lot for only eight hours. I just don't want to wear it on my face any longer. So I think I'm gonna actually call it quits on this one. It didn't look nice enough for me to warrant wearing it again. Personally, I don't really like this one. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for this video. Hey guys, okay, so I'm trying this for a second day in a row because I was in quite a weird mood on that video <laughs> And I think I hated on the product just a little bit too much So I wanted to give it another go, wanted to give it another chance So this is what it looks like on the second day It's 10 to 2 in the afternoon, I have had this on for about an hour I think I finished my face up about 10 to 1 So it's had a little bit of time to settle on my face Today I used the Blendful only to apply this and I did use quite a lot of product I used about 4 pumps of the foundation but to be fair the actual pump isn't the best <laughs> I haven't set it with a set and spray or anything and it looks okay apart from this region on my face by here like the side of my lip in between my brow and on my fine lines over here it's looking a little funky so far again not my favorite but I'm gonna persevere because I don't just want to give a completely negative review like I did initially I want to try this product out a little bit longer so with that said I'm gonna go about the rest of my day got a few errands to run and I'll check back in probably quite a few hours later because I've got a birthday I've got to attend as well today so I'll check back in with you guys later on so see you in a bit hello <laughs> it is quite a few hours later and I mean a lot of hours later <laughs> it is now 20 past 1 in the morning. I haven't actually looked at my face since around probably six o'clock ish. If I'm being honest, I had to powder my face around three hours in. I was looking quite a bit oily and my face felt quite heavy and it feels quite heavy now. So let's see what the damage is. Oh dear lord. <laughs> okay, so for one, I'm wearing a concealer that I really don't like, but this foundation. <laughs> I don't think I've looked worse. Um, it's strange because it starts off with a kind of sheen. It's not really a dewy finish. It's more of like a matte with a sheen to it. Um, and then I end up looking like this. <laughs> it's supposed to have like hyaluronic acid to bring moisture to your skin. It's either too much moisture or not enough moisture because my skin just produces so much oil with this foundation. It's all collected around my nose and it's all moved on my nose. It's faded all on my face. I mean, basically, where there's any oil, it's pretty much just eaten away at the foundation. I really don't like this one. So um, <laughs> that's that on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got an inkling onto what the foundation reacts like on normal to oily skin. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up so I know. Also, that really helps me reach other people. So it'd be really helpful if you did. And if you're new, I hope you stick around. If you wanted to, you just need to hit the red subscribe button down below and the bell button that'll just notify you when I upload next. I mean, when you get to look at a face like this all the time, why would you not subscribe? <laughs> I'm gonna go wash this off my face and cleanse my soul um and yeah i hope to see you on the next one till then bye guys mm. it's set down so it is matte rude i'm not go i'm i'm now uh, i'm trying out the maybelline the last i'm trying out the maybelline i'm trying out the maybelline the falsies last minus the trees you're welcome Lord. you're welcome you're welcome and thank you